What if I told you that Trevor Lawrence wasn't the best quarterback in this draft? What if I told you that it was a scrawny 209 pound kid who played in an independent league? I know, off the rip, this sounds wild. And trust me, I've fallen into the Trevor Lawrence narrative the media has created, but it's time to open our eyes to a guy from BYU named Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson is a 6'3", 209-pound quarterback who's a junior at BYU. In his career, Zach tossed 56 touchdowns to 15 picks with 642 rushing yards to go along with it. These are good stats, but nothing absurd. So what makes him better than Trevor Lawrence in my opinion? Let's start with the number one reason. He is an elite playmaker. On top of great speed, Zach Wilson's ability to get outside the pocket and deliver accurate throws is off the charts. Take a look at this next throw real quick. Look at where Zach is on this play. He's running full speed towards the sideline and is able to deliver a accurate ball back across his body to the middle of the field. Now, it's not the deepest pass ever and it's not the best pass ever, but this is a trait that you see in guys like Patrick Mahomes who are able to get outside the pocket and still deliver a ball wherever they need to because of their unbelievable arm strength. Here's another great example of getting outside the pocket and creating a play. Watch Zach Wilson on this play. Outside the pocket, does not set his feet. Look at the arm talent to get it there. I don't care what league you're playing in, what team you're playing. That type of physical skill will translate everywhere. Watch the feet. They're not even set. They're off the ground whenever he gets the throw off. That's the type of off-platform throw that you look for in a franchise quarterback. He can create a play when it's not there. This is not normal. This is absolutely absurd talent. This play remind you of a certain someone that wears number 15 for Kansas City? Yeah, look at that. It looks like an easy play. It's not. He's not looking. Underhand shovel. Touchdown. Absurd playmaking ability. He's just ridiculous. Another reason I believe Zach Wilson will be just flat out amazing in the NFL is because of the arm strength. I don't think there's a quarterback in this class that has the arm strength he does. And that's saying something because guys like Trevor Lawrence, Trey Lance, and Justin Fields all have cannons for arms. But I believe the velocity, accuracy, and just length that he can throw a football is greater than anybody else in this draft. The arm talents displayed here, see quick read, RPO, throws, immediately boom. Nice arm angle to get that out on, make sure it's an accurate ball, easy completion. Of course, all the talent in the world cannot make up for not being able to read a defense, and he has a good understanding of a defense. If you take a look here, he sees single high safety that is going to either go to the left-hand side or right-hand side to help. He's gonna get switch routes here, they're gonna cross each other and go across, so somewhere across the board he sees He's going to get man coverage, whether it's on the right side or left side of the screen. He takes a snap, immediately reads the safety, goes over to the right, and delivers an absolute dart into man coverage for a touchdown. This is a good job of reading cover one. Simple, but it's a good thing to see out of a young quarterback. Now, of course, a kid coming out of college is going to have flaws. Let's dive into one of those things. It is about reading a defense. He's going to see this immediately. That He's got a linebacker kind of controlling the middle of the field, and he's got a running back that's going to go out and a wide receiver that's going to run in. So what he wants to do is manipulate that linebacker to go after the running back so he can get a lane to throw this football. Unfortunately, what Zach does not understand and what you'd want him to see in this play is that there is a safety right there that can completely disrupt the play and blow it up. This is a ball that you should not throw, and receivers will get pissed at you in the NFL if you do throw this ball because it's basically a hospital pass. You're giving them no chance. That safety is going to sandwich that wide receiver whenever he goes for the ball, even if this linebacker goes for the running back. Let's take a look at what happens. What Zach does well here is when he takes the snap, he baits that linebacker into going to the running back by giving a little shoulder fake 
But what he doesn't understand is that there's still a single high safety that he cannot throw this football in there. This pass is not going to be complete because his guy is going to get pinched. He's going to get sandwiched in between. This is a bad read. This is not the throw you want to make. And I'm not saying there is a throw on this play you do want to make. Maybe nothing's open, but that pass is not a highly successful pass. You take a look at this from another angle. Nice shoulder fake. Gets the linebacker over there. There's no seam there. You don't want to throw that ball. The only things that are going to happen with this play is either an interception or you're going to get your receiver absolutely demolished. He's going to have to improve at this at the next level of making sure that he doesn't set his receivers up for failure. Now this next play right here results in a touchdown, but there is reason for concern. As you see, he takes the snap immediately, he sees a guy coming untouched, and he drops it off to his running back, or I guess his option. Now this is a good play because A, he's wide open. This is a Tom Brady throw, and I guess in principle, putting it to your check down guy is not the end of the world. But when you take a look at this play from a greater scheme, take a look at the right hand side next to the 40 yard line. Look at what gets open here. It feels like he feels the rush. When you see the right side, he's got options. He could hit him there. He could hit him on a deep post. He's got two wide open receivers on the right side of the field, but it seems like because of the pressure, he doesn't even look over there and he checks it down. Again, a check down's not a bad play. Tom Brady has made a career at dissecting defenses and checking the football down. But what concerns you with this clip is that the second he sees a rush, he feels the need to get rid of the football instead of analyze the play down the field. And I'll be honest, that play's kind of a nitpick. But when you look at this type of play, this is what I'm genuinely concerned about with him. Sometimes he tries to play hero ball, he tries to show off, and you even saw Mahomes do this a little bit in his rookie year. Not necessarily showing off, but just trying to carry the team on his back, doing too much. This play is pretty simple. The offensive line is going to go to the right. Zach Wilson is going to shift to the left. There's an edge rusher you can see on the left side of your screen next to 67 on the offensive line. This is supposed to just be a dump off to your running back in easy, quick play. What Wilson does, he pump fakes, he looks. He doesn't look, though, at his guy. He doesn't look at the guy he's throwing to. Now, this falls incomplete, and he's very fortunate that this ball falls incomplete. But in the NFL, this could easily be an interception. He just assumed the edge rusher was going to come after him and not stay with the back, so he no-looked it and put it in. And again, no-look passes can be great. We looked earlier in this tape at him successfully doing a no-look pass as it set up a touchdown. But you have to pick and choose when to do these things. Backed up in your own end, that's not the time in my opinion. Overall, what I see in Zach Wilson is like a lot of what I saw in Patrick Mahomes. I'm not saying he's going to be even in the same stratosphere as Patrick Mahomes. But in my eyes, it's two guys similar because they have unbelievable skill set. And if they land with the right team and they get put in the right system and get the time to develop and they can fix a few things, they've got talent that nobody else does. They can make plays no one else can and they're going to be stars forever.